Second part. And we're starting right at that high G. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Sounds really good. Any problems at all? No? And bowing straight forward too. You just gotta remember your, your up, up roll, but you really don't have to use it that much in this tune. How's everybody in Zoom land? Everything working out okay? Hi, Liz. Okay, good. So let's do it. We're doing Jimmy Duffy's number one. Yes, Gerald. Yeah, this, um, the first two bars has got that hornpipe sound to it. And then the, the way it goes into the straight quarter notes, do you want to keep that kind of dead, 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 dead result to it? Oh, dead, yeah. Dead to it? Absolutely. And in fact, the version that you're looking at has less quarter notes than I usually play in this tune. So just look at the music, <laughs> follow the music while I play it like I like people normally play it. So you see what I mean. Now, the version is fine. You play everything that you see, it's going to be just fine. But just to show you, I'm going to play it for you like that. Good point there, Gerald. And actually, my buddy Jim McGee that I got it off of, he doesn't even do two Bs and two Ds. He only does one, like this. See that? Even simpler. <laughs> okay, so that is kind of, when I play it up to speed... how that works there, eh? Makes a nice kind of rhythm. That being said, if you play all the eighth notes, it's also fine. It's great, no problem, okay? So just keep that in mind. All right, good point, Gerald. So let's do it. We won't worry too much about that heavy swing right now. We're just gonna try to learn it, get it under the fingers. So let's do it a few hundred times here, the whole thing. Okay. One, two, three, go.
checking in. How's everybody doing? Any problems whatsoever? You guys sound great, by the way. That plan is working out good there. It's good. Okay, good. We're gonna check in with the Zoom people and then we're gonna grind it. How are you guys doing? Everybody getting this tune okay? Great. Okay, so now we're gonna do it like a hundred times. We're gonna get faster. And then when you're going home, you're gonna be cursing me. Cause it'll be solidly in your head, solidly. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, go. the rhythm section you notice how, the, how there's kind of a breaking point with the tempo right so uh, so up to a certain point you're kind of good to go daka 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 but then when we go fast it's going to take on a different form right when we go it'll be kind of more like you know kind of like that see that so it kind of slows down what you're doing but it'll fit better with that same with the bass so at, when we're going kind of the slower the, uh, the, you know, dum, 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 that works. But when we're going faster, you're gonna, you're gonna only do kind of two notes per measure. You see what I mean? So, kind of like that. 
okay? And you'll notice that as we approach the tempo. But it'll feel awkward in the in the in between time. You know what I mean? Because you're either racing to do to do all four, or you feel like it's really slow doing just the two. You see what I mean? So sorry about that. All right, how's everybody else doing? It's good. Okay, we'll get faster, but well, let's leave that one for now. We'll move on to the next one. All right. <laughs> There you go, Peter. I knew it. I knew it. We'll have you. We'll have you eating shamrock salad before you know it. Jeez, that'd be terrible, wouldn't it? I think that's what they ate during the potato famine. <laughs> Poor bastards. This is a great tune. That's the first part. And then the second part. And that's the ending. You see that? And it sounds like the beginning again. Like, But I find the beginning sounds like the ending. When I first learned this tune, I really didn't know which end was which. My buddy Jim was playing and I just, I always hung on to that, this little scale up. Because I knew that was the beginning, because that's how he started it. You know what I mean? So anyway, it's, it's a little complicated in that way, but it's not that hard. So let's take a look at this first phrase. Now this is one where you need the pickup notes. That's the first phrase there. Let's do that three or four times. And let's make sure you do your best to get that high B up there. I think that's her there. Okay. One, two, a one, two, three. Again, very good, very good. Again, ready, two, three. One more time to be sure. Ready, two, three. second part is like an expansion on the first part, right? The second half of it. And I, got, I love how it goes G to G. I love that. That's great. So let's practice that second line two or three times. I do separately. You can go if you want. Use your pinky. But that's what I do. And it kind of adds to the sound. Let me give you both. Here's slurred. And here's bowed. You see how there's a little more hustle in the bowed one? But it's up to you. Okay, second line. Very lovely triplets, everybody. One, two, three, go. Do it again. Very good. Ready, two, Go now. <laughs> you have to do it up, up after it. That's the only thing. One more time. One, two, three. Oh, no. I screwed up. I started the first one. One, two, three, go. Okay, so now let's play this whole A part and see if it works. One, 
two, three. got that under your fingers? Good. Okay, so that's the first part. Now the second part. You know, the, the worst thing about this is the confusing nature of the phrases. So we'll just have to, we'll play each line. First line. Okay, let's do it. First line, nice and slow. One, two, three. Okay, let's do that again. One, two, three. time and we'll move on. Ready to go. Now, the next one, yeah, the next one is just an expansion on that same theme. But then it ends with the with the full scale up. See how that works there? Let's try that. Second line. An expansion on the first and a little all the way up. One, two, three, go. Let's do that again. Same thing. One, two, three, go. Now we go into this using the first part. Let's just practice that third line. One, two, a uh, one, two, three. So simple, but hard. <laughs> okay, so let's try that whole B part now. Let's stitch it all together. And we'll play the pickup notes. One, two, three.
implication, the end of the third, third line from the end, that G and that F, just get rid of that altogether, right? Because we're using the pickup notes to get into the last part. So. You hold the D. Right, the D. Uh, you have a D. You hold the G. Oh, the high G. The high G. Yeah. Just make it a quarter note. Yeah. So the G at the end of the third the third line from the end, there's a G and an F at the end of the bar. Turn it into a long G, a quarter note G. Okay. These are the things that can become very confusing. Okay, let's try it again. B part. Okay. One, two. One, two, three. How about you guys? Doing okay? Yeah? Okay, cool. Shall we try the whole thing? Let's, oh, I gotta check with the Zoomers. How are the Zoomers? How's everybody getting along? Jan, I'm keeping you up. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, cool, we're gonna try the whole thing. I remember when I was 21, I played at, at the blues bar called the Cave Club in Yellowknife. I was the house drummer. And I played with different guys that came through. And there was one guy, Jimmy Fitzgerald. He was a great uh, guitar player and singer. And he said that to me once, because I had this job at the city bus garage during the day, really hard work, pulling wrenches with the mechanic all day. And then I'd go to the gig on the Thursday and I'd be kind of a little bit drowsy. And he'd turn around and go, hey Dan, keeping you up? <laughs> he was a character. Okay, here we go. The whole thing, right from the top. A one, a two, a one, two, three.
Isn't that getting somewhere, eh? Feels great. Feels really good. Okay, any problems, questions, queries, concerns, or complaints? No? All right, see about the Zoomers. Hey guys, how are we doing? Any problems? Anything at all? No? Oh, yay. Okay, so let's do the, to the two of them together. And we don't have to go fast. Let's go just a little bit back from what we just did. We'll do three times each in the Irish style. Okay, and for the practice. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, two of them together. Yes, indeed. It is great. <laughs> Yeah, at the same time, they probably work. <laughs> They're so simple. Okay, here we go. Everybody ready? Three times each. A one, a two, a one, two, three, go. <laughs>
finishes it he always uses this part to finish it so he goes uh, uh. Uh. he uses that for an ending which is really really nice so maybe we'll try that okay but anyway break time <laughs> Break time there, Zoomers. Go eat a sandwich or something like that. Okay, everybody, let's get back to work. So there's got uh, just a couple of uh, announcements. Uh, first of all, Darwin's playing this concert uh, in Brenda with the Dundas Valley Orchestra, and he's, he's totally going to kick the ass of all the music that's on the program. So be sure to go down and watch Darwin and Brenda like totally kill it. Right, Darwin? <laughs> anyway, February 12th, 3 o'clock. Looks really good. It's a heavy program. Uh, next week, I am not here. I have a gig, a Robbie Burns gig. And, and I said, it's uh, for, with Brian McIntyre, and I said yes to the date, and then I didn't look at the day. So anyway, so do your own thing on Bro Robbie Burns Day, okay? <laughs> Hopefully you have something planned. Uh, and the following week, we'll do Scottish music and stuff like that, okay? Because Robbie Burns happens to go along with that. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. not old Rambo. Anything, anything but. <laughs> oh, not a fan? Yeah. 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 I actually don't know. <laughs> I'll let, uh, yeah, it's, the, a lot of these events are kind of burnt dinners, you know, the, but not always. So I'll find out. I'm terrible at details. I don't know if you guys noticed that. But uh, I'll find out. Anyway, okay, so let's get back to work. On the Irish. So let's practice this set a couple more times with speed in mind, because what I'd really like to get is this. Okay, yes, so that's eventual. Uh, but tonight, let's just try a couple of little ramp ups with that in mind, and then we'll practice some older stuff. Oh, that's the Oakville Legion calling me. Sorry. Sorry, uh, Chris. So I did email her and told her we have a group. This is great. Okay, shall we? Yeah. 
For this go, let's do three times each. Uh, when we perform it, we'll do two. I think that's plenty. But for the practice, let's do three. Hmm? Well, no, not in the set. So we're going to do it twice. We're going to do this speed here. You think we can handle that? I think we can. So we'll do that speed, see how it goes. If everybody's happy and nobody has thrown their fiddle on the floor, we'll go faster. All right? One, two, oh, one, two, three, go.
about you guys? All good? Any problems? Great. Uh, and Zoomers are all good? I thought you were brilliant anyway. You look brilliant. Okay, faster. One more time, faster. Considerably faster. Two times each. Let's see, let's do it and see how it sounds. <laughs> It'll go by in a second. It's like the little place I grew up in. You blink and miss it. Okay, here we go. So let's try it like this. Can we do it? We can do it. Hustle. A one, a two, a one, two, three, go. with speed in mind, all right? And uh, you guys, you guys okay with that? It all went all right? Zoomers, yeah? Great, okay, so practicing it with speed in mind. We're gonna get her up there. All right, now what, what's, what's next on the chopping block here? What did I say? I made a few suggestions. What were they? Those Lonesome eyes, yeah. Callum Road and the Hut. 
and the New York J. Well, why don't we do lonesome eyes a few times just to slow things down a little bit, concentrate on intonation and feeling, and dynamics, and then we'll play, uh, maybe we'll do the J's. Okay, lonesome eyes, key of D. <laughs> It's on the record with the brass quintet. I am playing it with the brass quintet accompaniment. It's pretty cool. And me and the boys went in on the weekend and did the last of what we needed to do. So now it's just to mix it and master it and release it. So it's pretty exciting. So we're marching towards the finishing line. And uh, we went in on Friday. And all we had to do was record two tracks of our own. We ended up recording five. Because we got in there, and Ross has this new flute. It's a German flute. It's really, it's got a lot of strength to the sound, a lot of uh, projection. And we started off with two fiddles and one flute, and it felt so good, and the, the groove was so good that after we did the one track, we just did a couple more, <laughs> and then did the track for the record. So it's pretty cool. Are you producing a real CD or are you making? Very good question. We are going to make real CDs, yes, but we're also, I think, going to make. Uh, LPs, which is kind of nice. Tom Power suggested it to me last time I was at Garth because his band, the Dardanelles, just made an LP. Because there's not really much point in CDs anymore. I mean, they're good for mailing to radio stations because they rip the tracks off of them. But other than that, does any of you guys have a, a CD player in your car? A couple of people. My new car doesn't have one at all. You know, but and the new computer the kids have doesn't have uh, CDs. What's that? <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh, yeah. Try to make it skip all the time. <laughs> anyway, I think James Bond had one in his car, a record player. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the other thing, the reason we're getting an L LP made is that the cover of the record is going to, half of it's going to be the wooden pipe, Ross's wooden pipe, because the record's called The Pipes. And half of the cover is going to be Ross's wooden pipes, and the other half is going to be all the brass pipes up close. So having a record would be nice because you could clearly see that idea. So anyway, Tom says that there's a really good place uh, in Ontario that does it. So I might get it. I might get LP. Isn't that something? Full circle. <laughs> okay, low to mines. Well, we will be getting CDs made too. But I think we'll do records because, you know, we can charge like 89 bucks each for them. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Now, let's do it twice. And I can't remember our dynamic plan. So just try to feel me. Okay. A one, two, three, one, two.
time with feeling. togetherness. I thought we started it a tiny bit slow, and so maybe that made it a little bit harder to get together, but you managed it, which is great. So now, I want you to play it for me, okay? It will give me a chance to listen real close and then uh, harsh you, harshly critique you after you're done. Okay? And for the Zoomers, too. You guys ready for this? We're going to play for us now. I mean, you can play along if you want. Totally up to you. But this is dance. Okay. I love this part. Okay, ready? You got any jokes, Peter? Quick one. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, one, two.
very, very nice. I'll see what the Zoomers thought. What did you guys think? <laughs> they liked it. Yeah. That's it's great. Awesome. I thought it was really good. What I was listening for was, of course, intonation, and it sounds really good, really good. We've come a long way with that. I was also listening for the togetherness, and it was good. It was pretty good. It could be better, of course. The hardest thing about this tune and any slow air is holding the notes out, right, so that you start the next one together. You, you're doing really good, but, of course, we can get a bit tighter on that. Just make the most of those long notes. All right, especially for fiddle players, try to give those long notes an arc. Speed your bow up in the middle of the note to give it a bit of a swell of volume. See that? Make it a, a bit of an event so you're not kind of wanting to get, uh, get on with it. <laughs> you know, you want to enjoy it. It's a beautiful note that you get to hold through your whole bow, so do something with it. Put a little wiggle on it. Move your bow a little quicker. Make it into something, okay? Next week, we'll work on it again. Oh, ha, who's, what's with the harmony? Did you write a harmony, Don? You yeah. did. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, more of that. So anybody that wants to take on the harmony part, it's really nice. Really, really nice. And I'm hearing a little bit over it in the corner type of thing. It'd be, better, it'd be good if a few people did it because it's really good and it works really well. Okay, so those are the things to keep in mind when you're practicing this one. Now let's play some jigs. Nice it does. It's really nice there, Wayne. Yeah, really good. Okay, New York jig. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, I'm just looking for the whole set there. Oh yeah, I lost my love in Jerry's beaver hat. That's right. Yeah, it's been ages since we did these. That's good. Okay. So we got key of C, people. Yeah, intimidating. <laughs> but it's not undoable. I think we can do it. Before we try it, let's quickly, not too quickly, run up and down a C major scale, okay? Get your pinkies out, all right? I don't know about you, but I'm not a person that uses my pinky a lot. I use it very little. And so it lives down here, which is not ideal. I'll tell you that. It should be up here anyway. And it's caused me lots of problems over the years keeping that damn pinky down here. So if you can, get it out and ready. You know, a standing army, not a rabble, right? Okay, here we go. C major scale. I'll put my tuner on. What's that now? I'm going to. I'm just going to put my tuner on so you can trust me. Because, you know, nobody trusts anybody these days. Okay, here's your C. There's a few of them there. That's better. Okay, here we go. Nice and easy. Ready, scale. It didn't 
go that far. Let's do it again. Here it is. Okay, ready, go. Now let's try the arpeggio. Okay? Ready? Go. Reach! Yeah! Just to be clear, C, E, and G. That's the C major arpeggio. Okay, let's do it again. Ready? C. Kids call it sus, sussy. There were a few of them. <laughs> That's a few attempts, right? And I do that too, eh? And every violinist I know does that. Tuning as you go, right? Because you're playing a note, or you're playing for our, for us. It's always like a group of notes that center around a certain finger grouping, right? And so you're playing like Cooley's real. <laughs> So in that little phrase there, I went from E to B like four times. So I don't know if you noticed, but I purposely did my first one was a little flat. But then when I come around again, I, I, I tune it. I correct it so that the rest of them are in tune. See that? You do it all the time, and you should do it. If you notice that, and what I always say is if you're flat, if your first line of defense, press hard with your left hand. Just a little hard because it'll go up like a half a semitone right away. Okay? If you're still flat, you roll forward on your finger until you're up in tune, okay? If you're still flat, you got to actually move your finger, which I, is your last line of defense. Because once you start sliding that finger around, man, you're, you're, you're lost in the water, right? So it's really important if at all costs, don't slide your finger. And if you're still out of tune after sliding your finger, give up. <laughs> Okay, it's not going to happen for you. Take up something else. <laughs> but yeah, continue to tune as you go. It's a really good thing to do. Okay, let's go, let's do it. New York jig. And let's go not too fast. It's been ages since we did this set. So let's kind of go like this. Ready? One, two, three. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
pretty good. And it wanted to go. You, you guys felt like a, like a whole team of horses because I'm holding back. Okay, so we'll try it again and we'll go a little bit faster. Now, uh, Wayne, I don't think you've ever played this set before, have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I think for, like, for the last one, I think you were in the wrong key. Yeah, so that's D. So the, key, the first tune is in the key of C. The second one is A minor. And the third one is straight up D major. Okay? And you guys good? Good to try going faster? Working on your double down? Excellent. Excellent. Or in Spaceballs, ludicrous speed. <laughs> the boy is just about ready to watch Spaceballs. He's not quite tw he's 12, so just about there. Okay, we had a funny, we've been trying to play older movies for the kids, like that me and Jen remember, right? Because they always enjoy it, and it's, it makes them think we're a little cooler, you know? <laughs> And so, so we're always racking our brains. So the last one was, uh, well, the last one uh, was Sister Act, which, which they loved. And Sylvia was all jazzed up and she was like ready for choir. It was really good. The one before that was Kindergarten Cop, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Very funny movie. And I was like, I was like, Jen, my kids would love this, you know? It's not a Puma, all that stuff. And so she was like, oh, great idea. So I was at a gig. And they were watching it, and I came home, and it was near the end. And the bad guy is there, and he's got the kid with him, and he's got a gun. And I realized this is an 80s movie, right? This is not going to be good. And sure enough, Arnold Schwarzenegger empties his clip into the guy. <laughs> Sylvia's like, Bleh! He slumps down, and she's like, oh, my God. The little kid runs away, and then the Mrs. Cop comes in and shoots the other one, <laughs> the old lady. They're like, oh, my God. I forgot all about that. <laughs> so you got to be careful. That's right. It was a teaching moment for us parents. <laughs> okay, are we ready to go faster? I've distracted you enough. So it's going to be like this. All right? One, two, three.
start to get bogged down in the Jerry Fever hat. But when I said one more, everybody stood up a little straighter. And it was very good. So that was a great practice tonight, guys. I've worked you hard enough, I think. Uh, no practice next week, okay? Go eat some haggis and drink some whiskey. <laughs> Something like that. Wear your kilt if you have it. And uh, back to abnormal the week after that. And we'll do, we'll do some Scottish stuff for fun, okay? Say goodbye to the Zoomers. Okay, bye, guys. See you next time. No, won't see you next week. See you the week after, okay? Thanks a million.